just finished filming a contact lens review so if you guys see another video on my youtube channel and I'm wearing the same exact clothes that's the reason why today I'm going to show you guys a collective haul it's just a bunch of bibs and bobs that I've purchased throughout the week or in the last couple of months and I've just not made a video to show you guys I mean if you do follow me on Instagram you would have probably seen all of these anyway because I'm always on Instagram so make sure you follow my Instagram guys I'm always making videos there. I'll start off with Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I've recently purchased two lip velours. Um, I've been meaning to purchase this a very long time ago, but I've just had no money. So right now, I'm actually wearing Jeffree Star's Butt Naked Lip Velour. It's absolutely amazing. It kind of reminds me of the Australis Honolulu um, Lip Velour, which is like $10.95, I think. And Jeffree Stars is like $28 or something like that. Can I just say that Jeffree Stars packaging is like just so eye-catching and just beautiful. This is the butt naked packaging and this is the I'm nude packaging. As you can see, I love my nudes. I really love the colour of this particular lipstick because it doesn't make me look like really really sick in any way. It goes well with my tan and it's just very very long lasting as well. I'm going to show you guys what the I'm nude one looks like. On the internet it looked really really nice um, but when I tried it in person I was just like it's way too nude like I don't even think a pale girl could wear this because it makes her look overly pale. Let me just take off my lipstick and I'm gonna do this with the Nivea double effect eye makeup remover which is another thing I want to show you guys in this video. Like Nivea have stepped their game up. This is absolutely amazing. It's better than the, um, the Lancome um, drool makeup remover. That shit is so expensive. Don't even bother. Go to Kohl's Chemist Warehouse, Woolworths and buy this. This is amazing. Nivea is on top of their game with this makeup remover. So I'm just gonna get some tissue and take off this butt naked one. You can see that this one looks more like a peachy nude and this is more like a skin nude. The thing I really like about this applicator is that when you take the lip wand out, the product is actually sitting there on the lip wand. Usually when I'm taking lip gloss or lipstick out of um, applicators like this, I have to go in and dig for it. Um, the way that the wand is made is so that it can catch all the product on the very tip so when you apply it, all the it's just there. How amazing is that? This applicator, like Jeffree Star, is such a genius. As you can see, it's a very skin nude. I mean, if I were to do that lipstick um, challenge, I could probably use this as a foundation and just mix it with a darker colour. That's one layer and I do need to go back in the the um, thing for more. I'm just tidying up. Um, I do feel like it's just too nude. Um, it makes me look very sick. I don't really like the way it looks on me right now. Oh, like, Give me your thoughts guys. Put it in the comments below. Let me know if you like the way it looks on me right now. I just feel like it just... It needs a dark lip liner underneath. Like a brown or a soft pink or something you know it just by itself it looks really unhealthy um i don't know it just i can't put my finger on it it's just not a very nice color to wear on its own speaking of lip liners i'm going to apply my I fucking can't pronounce this it's a napoleon Perders lip liner it's a brown one it's like a a brown soft to darkish brown lip liner it looks better, like, do you know what I mean? Like, this lipstick just looks better with, like, a darker lip liner on top. I'm just going to wear it like this throughout the whole video, and you guys can let me know if you like it or not with the lip liner or without. Put it in the comment section. <laughs> Next thing I want to talk about in my video is this makeup remover from Kohl's. It's, like, the cheapest thing out there. I think it was, like, under $4 or something like that, and it's the True Essentials micellar water facial wipes they've got the dry skin one this is a sensitive one and it's got 30 wipes in it and it's just so amazing like it's soft on the skin it takes off all my makeup i do still have to use eye makeup remover because it doesn't take off my um eyebrow pomade and the eyeliner it's so cheap and it lasts me so long i love this stuff i'm gonna go back for more the only reason why i bought one packet was because i wanted to try it out um i did use the woolworths cheap alternative um but I didn't like it. There's one that starts with a V, Volu or something like that. It's not that great. It's just not, 
yeah, just don't buy it. This is a lot better. True Essentials Micellar Water. Get on it, girls. Another thing that I purchased is the contact lens that I'm wearing now. It's the HD Grey from TDI and they last for a year and they're like 40 something dollars um, with free shipping. And it took only about a week to get to Sydney, which is where I'm from. And they're, I think they're based in Hong Kong or something. And I just, I love them. I've been wearing them in my photos, on Instagram videos, YouTube. I mean, now you guys can see they just look stunning on. So if you're interested in seeing a close-up or a review, make sure you do check my info box below because I've done a review on this before I made this video here. I'm going to show you guys a few things that I purchased from like online stores and whatnot in person. Um, I got this from Old Polly and it's like one of those really pretty satin type dresses. Look how amazing it looks on camera. It's just such a beautiful material and it's really really high up there so when you sit down you sort of got to be careful because if you don't sit properly across your legs people might see your underwear anyways the straps are adjustable and they're elastic straps so it's so easy to get into the dress there's no zipper involved and then there's a little bead here which helps you tighten the dress up to your neck there's a little um waistband thing here which you tie up i will show you what it looks like on as well so you guys can see what it looks like in a photo as well i guess um, i did get a coat with it as Thank you, phone, for interrupting me. I got a coat with it as well, and together with shipping, the coat and the dress was $140. So it's not bad. $140 is basically a coat from Forever New in Australia. That's like one item. And like this came from the UK, and it took legit, I'm not even kidding, five business days from the UK to Australia. I'm amazed by how fast shipping was. Speaking of the coat from Old Polly that I purchased, it is this long maxi one. I like it. It's like the best material out. It's a full suede. It feels amazing on. When I wear it, it makes me look short. So I need to wear heels with this. It's got pockets. At first when I got it, the pockets were sealed. So you sort of have to rip it open yourself. Um, but the pockets are fairly, fairly large. And it's just, oh, it's so soft and comfy. <laughs> bodysuit from Pretty Little Thing. I'm sure you guys have seen the commercials on TV if you're from Australia. They're advertising on TV now. This is a very nice um, bodysuit. Um, I, I love to pair it up with my white jeans. This is very tight. Can I just say like the arms, the sleeves are very tight. I think I got this in a size 4 as well. Let me just double check what yeah, it's a size 4. If I got a size 6, the sleeves would be way too long and it would be loose all over the place. I have to say though, if you guys are going to purchase from Pretty Little Thing, make sure you have a look at reviews or just look at the sizing and measurements. But there are certain things I'm going to show you right about now that don't look anything like what it does on the website. So I'm going to show you this jacket that I got from Pretty Little Thing. This is one of those bomber type jackets. You know, it's satin looking and everything. On the website, it looked really thick on the girl. It looked really nice. So on the actual website, um, this bummer jacket right here did not say that it was see-through. did not say that it was a very thin material. It looked very thick. It looked very warm. When I got it in the mail, I looked at this and I was like, the fuck is this? like umbrella material honestly though it's like so thin it's not going to keep you warm you can see my jumper underneath hello so um compared to what I saw on the website it looked a lot more dressier this looks really cheap um it's I don't know, it depends like if you wear some black jeans you might make it look good but I hate the material, it's cheap. I could wear it in summer and get away with it. If I want to go running or something, it's going to be good because it's just so lightweight. Um, it's good for like summer days, but for winter, no. Nah. So that was a no for me. 
Another thing that I got from Pretty Little Thing are these nude tights. It looks so pretty on the website. It's this pinstripe material and it's just so nice looking. Material is nice as well. However, they did not state that it was see-through on the website, which is a downfall for me because I wanted to wear this out a couple of times and I've tried wearing this with a bodysuit underneath. You can see the bodysuit. It's so fucking embarrassing. The bodysuit looks like underwear. It's, it's the most embarrassing thing ever. Um, if you go out with this, you actually have to not wear underwear. <laughs> You can't wear underwear in this because you can see your fucking underwear. It's embarrassing. I get liner, I get like padding in the liner and I just put it at the bottom and I wear this out. Like, it looks amazing on. Parkers. It comes with a hoodie and it came with like a fluffy hoodie which is detachable as you can see. It's quite lightweight as well so I can layer, like I can put like a t-shirt and then a jumper and then this on top and it just keeps me so nice and warm. Another thing I wanted to show you was this white jumper that I'm wearing now. It's so comfy, it's so lightweight, it's from Forever New as well. Um, I think I got it for like $50. And it's just very um, homey looking. It's it comes up to the waist, um, and it just keeps me nice and warm. Like it's not too thin, but then it's not so thick. It's in between, and it's just comfortable. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is this skirt I'm wearing right now from Forever New. It's one of my favorites. I've been wearing it to like almost every day. People probably think that I don't have change of clothes, <laughs> but to be honest, I have been wearing it almost every day. I'll show you what it looks like. 